Hi everyone. So in this video, I will show you how to set up Qtile inside a Fedora XFCE spin. Now, why do I want to do that? Uh, you know, couple of days ago, I was evaluating Fedora and I found that, you know, it has some very good features. It has BTRFS file system and it has system OOMD and uh, it has uh, pipe fire. So I wanted to use those features, but at the same time, I did not want to go and, you know, install all of those things in Pop OS, which does not come with them. So I wanted a tiling manager because Pop OS comes with its own GNOME based tiling manager. And I thought, why not try Qtile? Because anyway, I like the Python stack. I use conch and I use ranger. So why not use a Python based tiling manager as well? So I searched the internet high and low. I searched the documentation and for the life of me, I could not find any way to do it. I even opened up a question in Qtile's uh, discussion section and people were very helpful. Some people gave me some pointers on how to do this. And uh, I also came across this video which showed how to set up I3WM uh, on XFCE. So this video also gave me a lot of uh, steps and instructions on how to do it. So uh, let me show you the solution. I have put the steps here also. Now the first step is that you need to install Fedora 34 XFCE spin. I will not show you how to do that. I have already installed it in a virtual box and uh, you can search YouTube on how to install Fedora XFCE. It's a very straightforward process. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is you need to install Qtile. Uh, one very important thing, don't use DNF to install Qtile because it will install very old version like 0.14. It won't work. So what you need is you need the latest version and for that you need to use pip install uh, Qtile. So let's do that. So I am here on XFCE. Uh, open up the terminal. And after opening up the terminal, you need to say pip install Qtile. And uh, hopefully Qtile 0.18 has been installed. So this is what we wanted. That is step number one. Now, after you do this, what you need to do is you need to go to the window manager keyboard section. So the way you do it is you can press Alt F3. So I'm pressing Alt F3 and you can search for window manager. And here we go to keyboard and uh, we do not want any one of these keyboards because we are going to be using Qtile. So we don't want any conflict. So select everything, control A, select everything and clear everything. So everything is gone. Next thing that you need to do is, there is one more place where the keyboard shortcuts are set. So let's again press Alt F3 and look for keyboards. And Inside the keyboard section, there is a section called application shortcuts. So what do you want? You want to delete all the super shortcuts because the super key or the mod key is used by Qtile a lot. So you select super, super and super. Uh, make sure you don't delete Alt F3. Otherwise, you won't be able to access your launcher in case something goes wrong. And I also highly recommend that you create a backup account. Create a backup administrator account, something like demo1 or admin1 or something like that. So in case you botch up this installation, which is highly unlikely, you can at least boot into the main admin account, delete this user and create a new user and try again. So go and delete any other, I can't see any more, so that's okay. If you find any more, just delete it and just say remove. So you have removed them now and close. So you have removed all the shortcuts now. So this step we have already done. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to go to sessions and startups and three things we need to disable that is the window manager, the panel and the desktop. So let's go there and let's go to uh, Alt F3 and start session and startup. So we want to go to the session and the XF window manager change it from immediately to never, uh, the desktop change it to never and the panel also we need to remove which is this top panel because it's going to hijack all these icons it won't let it appear in Qtile. So we get rid of these three things double check XFWM and uh, the panel and the desktop XFWM panel and the desktop so once you do that 
you change it to start never 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 save your session this is very important to save the session so after you save the session you need to go to application auto start and this is where we need to add qtile so one more thing you will notice is that you know uh, qtile should be present here now if you run qtile it should give you some kind of a usage help so it means it's installed so what we need to do is we click plus and you can say qtile the description is a tiling window manager and here the command is qtile start and this needs to be on login and click ok so once you do that it should appear over here and make sure just double check your session is saved close this now at this point of time we are good to go uh, let me check if I have executed all the steps correctly yes so now all we need to do is just log in and log back so you can press alt f3 uh, search for logout and logout select the user enter the password and hopefully qtile should pop up and there you go uh, we're in the columns layout and you can see i can press uh, let's say mod enter and the terminal opens up so there you go you have now set up qtile easily inside xfce and you get all the goodies of fedora as well so take care, I'll see you in the next one.